Yo, what is good YouTube? Maddie Dubs here, back with another video guys, and we have some breaking news in the NBA. As we all know, the NBA has been kind of that dead period, the dead zone, where not too much happens, not too many signings, trades, or anything like that, but we are starting to ramp up here about a month away from the start of training camp and preseason. So we're starting to see some signings, Exhibit 10 contracts, some preseason contracts, some training camp contracts, and we just got another one here for the Brooklyn Nets, according to Sham. The Nets are signing former Duke first round pick Harry Giles to their team to see if he can make an impact, make a name for himself and get back into the NBA. Still very young, still has potential. And hasn't played since 2021, so he has taken a couple of years off uh, from being in the NBA, but that does not mean he hasn't been working. The man has been grinding, uh, working very hard to get back to the NBA, and you know, his potential is still. You know, it can be high. He, he's, you know, a former first round pick potential or, uh, you know, talent was never the real issue with him. It was more putting it together on the floor. Um, never really did it at a high level, but I still think the sky is the limit for him. If he can make a name for himself over these next few weeks and months as we head into the start of the season. And I do think that Brooklyn is a nice little fit for him as well. Now, before we jump into the video, I'll talk a little bit more about Harry Giles. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. I just made this channel. It is brand new. Let's see if we can get to a thousand subscribers, man. I, I like I said, my main channel has about 58,000 subscribers, but this one's going to be strictly NBA news, no highlights, analysis videos all year long. So make sure you guys join the family. Uh, but without any further ado, let's jump into the video. So Harry Giles, like I said, former number 20 overall pick back in 2017. Um, you know, his first season with the Sacramento Kings, he played about 14 minutes a night, 7 points a game, 0.5 steals, 0.4 blocks, 3.8 rebounds, 1.5 assists per game, while shooting about 50% from the field. And then next season, uh, same thing, played about 14 and a half minutes per game, actually started 17 games, scored about very similar stats, 7 points a game, 0.4 blocks, 0.5 steals. It was actually kind of weird that he was pretty much averaging the same stats. His rebound number went up a little bit. Um, his field goal percentage went up by 5%. He was shooting about 55%. And then, then he went on to the Portland Trailblazers, where he, most of these highlights you're going to see in Portland. He played about 9 minutes a game, 2.8 points a game, 3.5 rebounds, 0.8 assists, but also started to shoot the three ball a little bit more and was shooting about 35% from three, only was taking about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 threes a game, uh, but was still trying to develop that three point shot. Now, I think over the last couple years, he's really been working on his game. We've heard a lot coming out of his camp that, you know, he's just been working. He's been trying to really start to develop, really trying to get going. And, you know, things are looking really good for Harry Giles. And the Brooklyn Nets probably saw him in a workout and were like, okay, wait. This is not the guy who, you know, used to be in the NBA a couple years ago. This is a much improved guy. This is a player who may might be able to impact our team at a high level. Now, when you look at the, you know, Nets depth chart right now, we all know that they decided to go in a different direction, training Kyrie and getting rid of Kevin Durant and, you know, moving on from a bunch of different players, going young. And they pick up, you know, Mikel Bridges, Cam Johnson, you got Spencer Dinwiddie and uh, Dennis Smith Jr. who they added. Still have Cam Thomas and Dorian Finney-Smith, Nick Claxton, Dayron Sharp, Ben Simmons looks like he's going to come back stronger. Uh, they draft Tariq Whitehead, so they're very young. They're very, very young, very talented, but needed some more depth in the at the center position. Obviously, I like Nick Claxton a lot. Think he's going to be very crucial for their team next season. You also have Ben Simmons. Whether or not he'll be on the team is you know up for debate right now. Uh, I heard yesterday some news came out that Ben Simmons was ready to go. Man, he seemed like he was going to uh, you know have a big, big, big year. We'll have to see if that happens or not. But you know you still have him as option. Noah Clowney, the, the rookie, and then uh, from there, it, it gets a little bit dicey. I mean, maybe Trenton Wofford can, you know, be a nice little addition for them, or, uh, you know, maybe Darius Baisley, but I think Harry Giles gives them another guy to look at, another guy to maybe start to develop and see how he does over the next couple of seasons, uh, but I do like what he came, what he brought out of Duke uh, his rookie season. I think he can continue to build upon that. I know he's getting up you know, he's not the youngest guy in the world, but he's obviously not the oldest guy either. So I do like this signing, I think, for them. He's, he's 
good at cutting to the basket. He can get some steals, get some blocks, finishes well in the, at the paint or in the paint. But also, it starts to develop a three-point shot. We'll see how that translates into training camp and preseason. But overall, I like the addition. I think it's low risk potential, high reward is a guy who, you know, even if he gets cut, you gave him a shot, you're not going to lose anything. But if he makes the team, I think it's going to be a nice little addition. So hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. And if you love playing fantasy sports like football, basketball, baseball, and so many other sports, but also love being able to win money, you're going to want to stick around for this whole segment. Introducing Underdog Fantasy, the ultimate platform for fantasy sports lovers. Do you want to experience the thrill of drafting your team and competing for huge prizes? Well, look no further. With Underdog Fantasy, you get access to a wide range of fantasy sports, including football, basketball, baseball, and so much more. But here's what makes Underdog Fantasy stand out from all of those other apps. They've got quick and user-friendly drafting process, a unique and exciting game formats, fair and competitive contests for all skill levels, and attractive bonuses and promotions. Not only can you draft teams and compete with others, but you can also play a game of higher and lower, which is personally my favorite thing to do on there, but you can potentially win 20 times the money you put down. And if you use code MADDYDUBS when you sign up, Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. And what that means is basically when you deposit, let's say $100, they'll give you a free $100 to use and play with. Click the link in the description to get started or head to the website right now to start dominating the fantasy world. And don't miss out on all the fun. Be a part of the underdog community starting now. And don't forget, if you use code MADDYDUBS, they'll match your first deposit up to $100. Let's get started. Get into drafts with me starting today.